how to sell your marketing service for a tech startup. This video will be helpful if you're a digital marketing freelancer or digital marketing agency owner and you want to find high paying customers from the tech world that will pay you 2, 5, 10 key per month and more. I have divided this topic into four subtopics. The first one is why tech startups are the perfect customer for your digital marketing agency. Because most agency owners don't realize why making service for a tech startup is so beneficial. The second one is how to sell to startups that just raise money. Because there are a lot of tech startups in the world and you need to focus on startups that have money. But the question is, how do you find the startups that just raise money, right? The third thing I'll tell you is how to target startup owners on Facebook and Instagram and show your expertise. Spoiler, it's not been targeting the interest startup in Facebook ads. I will show you a better way to reach out to startup founders. The fourth thing is how to show your expertise. Because if you come to a startup owner and say, hey, I can run Facebook ads or I can do a SEO or my favorite, hello, Sir, I want to provide you high quality backlinks. You won't probably get an answer. Trust me, as an APAV founder, I get these messages every fucking day. So let's get started. But before that, a quick trailer about me and what I'm doing. Hi, my name is Anton Wiberny. I was a marketing agency owner and now I'm a tech startup founder and CEO at APIWA. On my channel, I'm talking about how to open and scale your digital marketing agency and transform it into a tech startup to get a subscription revenue. A few words about APIWA. APIWA helps digital marketers to connect marketing apps and automate workflow. For example, when you get a new lead on Facebook, Instagram or TikTok lead form, automatically send lead data to Google Sheets, CRM or email marketing software. More than 50 marketing apps that you can connect with each other are available on Appyway. You can use 100 data transfers per month absolutely for free. Follow the link in the description and start to use Appyway right now. So. Without other ado, the first topic we'll cover is why tech startups are the perfect customer for your digital marketing agency. If you provide digital marketing services, you have probably faced a problem where the customer pays you for 2-5 months and then churns. And you may think something wrong with you or that you don't have enough experience to do this. But that's not the case. They churn it because the businesses you serve don't have a scalable business model. Let me tell you a story about my father. He is a painter and he decided to launch an art studio where he would teach kids painting. This is a local business because kids visit art studios around their houses and not on other side of the city. The seats in the studio are also limited because it's a studio and not a stadium. I helped him with a Facebook marketing campaign and guess what happened? After one month's campaign, we sold out all seats in the art studio. And now my father doesn't need my marketing service anymore because all seats in this teeny studio are already taken. So it means that his business is not scalable. As an agency owner, you can earn more from one customer if they grow, they can increase their marketing budgets or add new campaigns and pay you more to manage these new campaigns and increased budgets. You grow with them. How you can earn more by providing a service for not scalable businesses? It's impossible and you will stay in one place. That is why I recommend you pay attention to the tech startup niche because tech startups are very good for scaling. But in the beginning, let's figure out how tech startups perform because the growth model is completely different from common businesses. When you figure out it, you will understand why it's so cool. Basically, the main business goal of startup is increase the valuation of the company. 
You can increase valuation only by showing revenue growth. In the startup world, it's also named traction. Mind you, I said revenue growth, not a net income. This is extremely important to understand. Tech startups sell digital products, not humans' time. That is why they scale by getting new customers, not by adding new employees who will do the job or adding new seats and barbers in a barber shop. For example, in my startup API way, to scale, I need more digital marketers as a customers who will use the product. And to provide this, I just need to boost my marketing campaign and server infrastructure, not adding new people. That is why paid marketing is one of the important things in a tech startup business. Another important thing about startup scaling is that startups live from one round of investments to the next round. In most cases, it takes 12, 18 months. In that period of time, the startup has to make 2x or 10x in revenue. If they don't, they can't raise money in the next round. On average, startups invest 40 or 60% of a new round of investments in growth. There are sales and marketing. Let's do a bit of calculation. A startup raised $1.5 million. In the next, let's say, 15 months, they will spend around 800 k for marketing from the last round of investments. So every month they will spend 40 k plus on digital marketing and you can get a piece of cake from this cash flow. Don't forget that startups start to get revenue from sales, not just from investments. And that is why budgets for marketing in this case can be around 100 k per month. If you charge, let's say, 10% of marketing budgets, you can get 10 key per month in the next 15 months. Try to guess what will be next if you provide real growth. Actually, <laughs> it's your job. The startup will raise the next round of, let's say, 5 million or 10 million of investment round because you have provided them growth using paid ads. And the most important thing, they will continue work with you because if you were working well, why do they need to change work courses? They just say, hey Ben, you know, you did a great job and let's repeat the same in the next 15 months with a 10x budget. This is how it works. So you can work with this startup for a few years. Okay, we figured it out why selling to startups is so fucking cool. Now let's jump into details. Let's discuss how to find startups that have just raised money. The first rule in B2B sales is to be at the right place at the right time. The right time to reach out to startups is when they have just raised money. Because, um, let's say, they have a ton of it and you have two options. Either the piece of cake goes into your pocket or your competitor's pocket. What will you choose? So, the main question in this situation is how to know when a startup raises money. You can figure it out using a tool named Crunchbase Pro. This is a startup investment Wikipedia and all startups add investment rounds to their profiles in Crunchbases. They do it to generate hype and grab the attention of other venture capital funds that may be interested to investing in them in the next round. So you can also take advantage of this situation. Customize a filter like, let's say, send me alerts when companies in Industry X rise seed round of investments, for example. And you will get the list of these companies. Choose the company, click on the people tab, see the founders, select, let's say, CEO and follow the link and follow the LinkedIn profile link. And voila, you have the perfect lead. After that, you can reach out to the founders and start to sell. For example, if I were reaching out to myself, I would say something like, 
Hey Anton, I see that you just raised a new round of investments. Congratulations. My agency has an experience in promoting B2B SaaS platforms that are focused on marketing agencies. And if you are interested, let's jump into a discovery call. And I will show you uh, our last case in the B2B SaaS industry. This is a good way to get a new high paying customers. But there is one huge problem. When startups raise money, it's like a red flag for bulls. And all good sales team use this approach. So you start competing with other agencies that use the same technique. And these agencies often lose out to the ones that play the long game. So if you want to get a perfect result, you have to filter startups that raised money 10 or 15 months ago, which means that they are raising the next round right now and you can start to build a relationship with them. At that moment, startups will not buy your service because they only care about fundraising of the next round. But when they have done it, you will be much closer than other agencies because you have already built a relationship with them. You can use this method when you are making cold sales. Now let's figure out other tactic that you can use with paid ads. I will not teach you how to use paid ads because I think you are already familiar with them. The main question right now is how to target startups owners right. I had a lot of conversations with media buyers and asked the question, how do you target startup owners? And in most cases, the answer was something like, I will use target interest on Facebook, such as startups. Anyway, this is actually a very bad idea because it is a very broad audience. Every small business owner thinks that he has a startup. Furthermore, in most cases, Digital marketing agency owners also think that their agency is a startup, which is actually not. I hope I didn't upset you, but the ugly truth is better than a beautiful lie. You know, and if you want to target startup owners, you should use very specific target interests that can only be interested in tech startup founders. So, the first interest that exists in Facebook target options is Y Combinator. Y Combinator, also known as a YC, is the most famous startup accelerator in the world. People who are interested in YC are 100% involved in the startup niche. Because if you are building a startup and you don't know what YC is, you're actually doing something wrong. The second interest is Paul Graham. He's the founder of YC and the most influential person in the tech startup world. The good thing is that common entrepreneurs don't engage with the Paul's content, so you won't spend your budget on them. However, all startup founders have read Paul Graham assess. The next target option that you can use are Dave McClure and 500 startups. Dave is the founder of the 500 Startup Accelerator, which is YC's main competitor. So you can use this target option and target startup founders. This few target option allows you to cover 1 million people and 80% of startup founders all over the world. Also, you can try to use different target audience using startup slang. I also did it in my marketing agency and one of our major customer was a tech startup. And when we were providing marketing services for them, we found that they are struggling with API integrations. That is why we launched API Way. By the way, many people have asked me to provide more details about it and that is why I created a map with a step-by-step -step guide on how to open a marketing agency and how to scale it, what sales and management tactics you have to use, and finally, how to transform the agency into a tech startup to get a subscription revenue. 
So if you are interested in scaling your marketing agency, you can download this map and watch the video where my team and I will show you a step-by-step -step path that you can replicate much faster than we did. Follow the link in the description and start scaling your marketing agency right now. Okay, you already know the best way to reach out startup founders, but now let's discuss our fourth and final topic how to show your marketing expertise to a tech startup founder. Well, the problem is that startup owners only listen to investors and other startup owners. They don't listen to the common marketers. These guys are real bastards and I know that because I'm a one of them. Tech startup owners that have raised $1 million are not stupid. Moreover, they are more experienced than you because they have a background. Actually, what background do you have in your 20s? It means if you come to them and just say, hey, I can run Facebook ads or CEO for your startup, let's start work, it's not gonna work. As a startup founder, I get this kind of offers every day. So to get a good result, you have to use the golden rule of sales. It sounds like before selling something, you should get the key to the customer's ears. Basically, you have to explain why they should listen to you as soon as possible. When you already reach out to a lead, there are three things that you have to do. First, show that you are a responsible person. As a startup founder, I need to see that you have a business email, website, LinkedIn, Instagram, and maybe some content about it. I need to be confident that you are an adequate person and you need to have some social proof. Second, you have to show that you do stuff that I'm looking for right now. And also, you need to show me that you understand my business, my niche, my marketing strategy, and my sales strategy. I will give you an example. Every day on my Instagram, I get two free offers from lead generation agencies. They try to sell me their LinkedIn outreach service, but on API way, our paid plans start from $9 per month, and it means that if we build a sales strategy we are sales team, our unit economic will not work. Direct sales works in a service-based business and only if you sell enterprise and not SMB software. So that is why these guys will never sell me their lead generation service. But now, when I started my YouTube channel, which is actually my first video, and it is actually possible to sell me YouTube promotion service because I'm doing YouTube promotion right now. It is very important to understand for whom you are selling and what you are selling. Finally, the third thing is that you need to understand my niche. I'll tell you a quick story about how we hired an SEO agency for our startup. I was looking for people in this field asking other startup founders and CMOs about their experience in sale. They just recommended me to an agency. The founder of this agency made a 20 minute pitch talking about B2B SaaS case studies. We had just raised money and <laughs> invested in SEO. And that's all, no any magic. This guy showed me his expertise at the right time. Do you have really think he showed me some kind of magic on this pitch? Of course not, he just was adequate. And there is another example. Every day I get offers from media buyers and they were like, hey Anton, we run Facebook ads, are you interested? Guys, do you really think that people who are building a tech startup don't know how to launch Facebook ads? Maybe these people don't have a deep knowledge but they are familiar with how to run a simple campaigns, you know, just run Facebook ads and that's all. But if these media buyers comes to me and says, hey Anton, I see you're creating an interesting sales strategy for your startup. 
You are not running ads directly to your product. Instead of this, you created an online course how to scale digital marketing agency because your software customers are their marketing agencies. You are selling this course and reinvesting the money in paid ads again and with this technique you can get more marketing agency owners attention. That's interesting and I can help you with scaling Facebook ads. So let's jump into discovery call. So it means that this person knows what I'm doing and I don't need to waste my time explaining my sales strategy. After these words, I quickly figured it out that this media buyer had a higher marketing mindset than other media buyers who sent me these fucking offers like, hello sir, I want to provide you high quality backlink for your website. Sorry guys, but it is already a marketing meme in my friend's cycle. Also, let me give you another great example. For example, you can come to me and say, Anton, I see that you are performing in my competitor's niche and this competitor doing this, this, this. And we see, Anton, that in your startup you don't do this, this and this. And we are a good marketing agency that can do this, this and this for you. And this strategy will be works because I can understand your expertise very quickly. So let's sum up. If you reach out to start up at the right time and show that you are an adequate person, show that you provide the service that the startup needs exactly at that time and show that you have the experience, you'll increase your conversion by 10 times. So I hope you enjoyed. This is actually my first video and I hope you like this. Like this video, subscribe to my channel and see you in the next videos.